Hi, Josh. Thanks for joining. Hello, Chris. Thanks for joining. Hi, how are you doing, Sammy? I'm doing good. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Tyler. Hello. Thank you guys for joining. Sure. We have almost 30 people coming, so. Hi, Robert, thanks for joining. Thank you, thank you. All coming in at once now. <laughs> Welcome everybody. I'm just gonna wait another moment. I think we're waiting on just a few more. Thank you for joining us.
just going to wait one more minute because we are missing a handful of folks. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Everyone's so quiet. <laughs> All right. I was thinking we'd have another flurry at 7.01, but we'll see. I know we're missing a grouping of folks, but we'll get started very shortly. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. You guys are all on time. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. As some of you know, um, I am Cindy DeFilippo and I am the new Family Engagement Coordinator for Daniel Webster Council. Thank you for joining us tonight. These will be monthly membership workshops and I would like to See them really run more like workshops where we're collaborating together and working on different ideas. It'll range from writing workshops to uh, little mini marketing workshops. And I am open to suggestions to what you guys are looking for to um, introduce more families to scouting here in New Hampshire. This is an email where you can reach me, membership at nhscouting.org. It's probably ingrained in your brains at this point if you've seen emails and the lunchtime lives and all that stuff. Tonight, um, you're gonna get a tour of the membership and marketing hub and the resources we have to offer this year. And uh, it is a revamped website to make things a little bit easier and uh, for you guys to find the things that you need. And we're gonna talk a little bit about membership now through the fall, the incentives that are still happening right now to um, for the, for the units to recruit more scouts. We're gonna talk a little about sharing our scout stories and working as a team and then some friendly reminders. So this is the QR code for the Membership and Marketing Hub. Please scan it and bookmark it everywhere, every tablet, every device that you may have. <laughs> and we are gonna go right into the Membership and Marketing Hub so I can show you guys what we have to offer. Yeah, we had another guest. All right, welcome. We're gonna go right into the membership and marketing hub. Here we go. And I know it doesn't look hugely different, but we added some really helpful links and easier ways to reserve our uh, mobile trailer and our archery range, which has been reserved nonstop uh, recently, we have about 30 new reservations. Um, so if you guys want to book that for an event, I suggest you do it as early um, leading up to your event as possible. Weekends are getting booked up. So here's the marketing hub. And as you see, we added some um, links to the left side here of your screen, um, just to make things a little bit easier to find quickly. Um, so you see the incentives here in the middle, recruit a friend to scouting, and then the joining fee uh, waiver initiative there. And then the council presence membership challenge, which if you guys haven't heard, has been extended to December 31st. Woohoo! So if you're still working on recruiting your five new scouts, you can continue doing so right through the fall and early winter. So um, there's good news there for you guys. I'm sure you've heard the details about that. And if you haven't, they're all lined out, um, all um, here in detail for you. The first 10 units claim $200 and then there's still additional monetary prizes uh, from there. So on the left, as I said, um, this is just a contact us link. So it's just an easy way to um, click and basically put in your contact information. And this goes into um, a system where 
even if it wasn't about membership, it would get to the right person. And it allows us to really keep track of making sure that we get back to you guys in a timely manner. So um, it's a great system um, and it's, it makes it easier for us to assist you in the most efficient way possible. Right here is the archery range and trailer reservations. If you notice, who noticed that we added archery range to this link? Don't all jump up and down at once. <laughs> I did when you brought it up. <laughs> so I heard from a few of you, you uh, lovely volunteers, that it would be great to add a separate archery range reserva uh, reservation link. And I, I completely agree because it does get confusing as the person who's trying to um, organize it and make sure there everything's available and that staffing is available for you guys. It would get very confusing to not know who has the mobile base camp and who possibly has the archery range. So now we know, and now um, there won't be confusion as to what is booked and it's, it's all really streamlined now, which is so exciting. Thanks to Tyler for doing a lot of this behind the scenes work, by the way. I always think these things magically happen and Tyler informed me that he's the magic. So thanks Tyler. <laughs> so um, you can book the trailer archery range. It gives you a choice right here. So you can click mobile base camp or the recruitment trailer. I know it has multiple names or the inflatable archery range, which is a single unit. For those of you that don't know, it's an inflatable range obviously, and it just is archery. So it, it comes with everything that you need to have um, safe archery. And um, it's very, very straightforward how to set that up. And uh, we do have to have a range master with the unit as well as the archery range. So if you don't have a trained range master within your volunteers, within your group, then we need to make sure that there's one there for you for safety reasons. So obviously you fill out all the details here. And then um, another cool thing down here is, you know, we ask if you have volunteers and all that, we wanna make sure it's stepped um, appropriately. And then if you do have volunteers that are trained, this is a new addition here, uh, we would like to know. So that way we can spread the wealth and, and make sure our volunteers all get to where they need to go. So you can click yes. And then it asks you for um, specifics there that you can upload. And that way we have all those details on file. And then this is also fairly new. Um, we have asked you before if there's a fee to participate. Some of these uh, festivals or, or vendor events have a fee. If there is a fee, it asks the amount. And then um, we ask if the unit is able to cover the cost or if you're asking for council approval to cover the cost. Um, it does depend on uh, depend on funds at the time and where and how many um, events that council is funding for the unit to be at. So it's not always automatic approval, but we do our best to have the unit in um, as many places as possible. So that's definitely our goal is to help you guys achieve that. There is um, a flyer request form. Flyers, I know everybody is looking forward to flyers for the fall, especially. Um, this takes a second to load. So um, the email is there if you have further questions, but there is a request form here that asks all the information, again, contact information, and then your joint scouting night information. And so those details will be added to a template, which will be on the back side of the flyer. The front of the flyer will be um, one of the escape the great indoors images that you guys have seen. That's a national campaign. And then the back is gonna be a template. And the goal is that I will, will be able to contact hopefully most of our school districts. Um, there's a lot in New Hampshire, so I'm gonna do the best that I can. And if you guys have contacts to who you usually get approval from in regards to flyers being distributed at the school, then please feel free to email me that information so I can do it in uh, a lump sum. I'm trying to save you guys a step. Um, so um, I am hoping to get everything approved. So that way, when people are requesting flyers, we're not waiting for approval the first few weeks in September. Um, I'm hoping that we'll have approval for the basic flyers that we're gonna send out. And then that way you guys can get your flyers and your information out to all the kids as soon as possible. 
There is a link for leader resources here as well. And um, obviously it's the 2020 fall recruitment playbook. Oh, sorry, I clicked because I'm impatient. I click about a hundred times on this computer <laughs> when I don't need to. Um, there's a unit membership backdater. And this is a really handy tool um, to, can you guys see the, see the backdater? Did that work? Aaron, I see your face. Do you see the backdater on your screen? Uh, Cindy, it just asked you to upload it or oh, it open did. it. So if you, you already have it opened in Excel, you may not be sharing it. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay, here we go. That's what I was thinking. Thank you very much. Sorry, Aaron. I know I call you out because you're the first person right underneath me here and I can see your expression. <laughs> no worries. I couldn't find my mute on mute. I oh. <laughs> wasn't ignoring you. No, no, it's fine. I saw your face like, oh, no. <laughs> so we have this handy membership backdater. And the reason why we put this together is because it, it's not trying to give you guys more work. This is all the work that you guys are already doing. But this, these are the kind of friendly reminders on what to think about when January comes, when February comes, and all those, all those months throughout the year. And the ultimate goal, if you can see where I'm going with this, is that we're thinking about recruitment and retention year round. It's not just a, a fall or spring recruitment push, right? We want to really be thinking about it year round. So I saw the thumbs up. Thanks, Josh. So, um, so this is really the ultimate goal. So this kind of gets us all in the same mind frame. And again, I really would love it if all of us can work as a team to really help get more families into scouting. So as you can see, I mean, I know the print is small. I just put my readers on here. That's how old I'm getting. Um, it's, you know, when you think about flyer approval, doing scout exit interviews, you know, if you have some scouts, why, why they're leaving or, 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 you know, whether they're transferring or, or leaving completely, um, you know, calling up schools, going to PTO meetings. I even threw in um, a seasonal um, service project because I think sometimes we get lost in doing a lot of advancements and and uh, adventures, which is all awesome. And we, we should continue doing that. But I really want it to be in the forefront of our minds to do a lot of community service. Number one, that's what scouting is all about, serving our community and teaching our kids that um, that, that is important to help the communities in which we live, teaches them to also be better leaders as well, right? And it's a great way for us to get out there in the public eye with uniforms on or our class B shirts and showing people that we are really making a difference and that there is a lot of good in scouting and, um, and it's another great reason for families to join. So I won't go through this whole thing, obviously, but there is a backdater for relationships and marketing. Um, there's a backdater that focuses on the fall season and the spring season. And then um, there is a focus on um, Save a Scout, which is calling drop scouts and inviting them back to your meetings. There's also a small section here on the Weebelows to Scout transition and, and how we can really make sure that transition is a lot smoother and more comfortable for those families because it is a big transition, right? I think we can all agree on that one. And um, of course, venturing and exploring as well. So um, that is just something to kind of have handy. There is also, um, another tab and the tab is actually a membership checklist so it has kind of rough due dates so you can kind of just use this checklist and go through on um, what you've completed and what you should be thinking about throughout the year so i hope that proves to be helpful and if you think i'm missing anything definitely let me know and let's see i'm going to go back to our hub here Finally getting the, after all this time doing Zooms, I think I'm finally getting the hang of sharing my screen. All right, uh, membership newsletters. If you're not getting them, you should be. <laughs> um, these newsletters offer weekly tips, best practices, resources, all that fun stuff. And as you can see, um, the latest issues are on the Membership and Marketing Hub in case you missed any. So definitely catch up when you're outside in the sunshine. And then you can subscribe right here, this big red button. So if you're not getting them, go on the hub and please subscribe because that there are some great tools in there. And we do a membership moment 
which actually highlights one of you guys doing your great work. And it's really fun to see what our different units are doing out there. And let's see. Um, oh, and then of course, all the membership work up, workshops, which you guys are here, which is fabulous. And I appreciate it. Um, and then, um, oh, submit a scouting story. This is also very important. So we just talked about really starting to put a focus on more community service efforts and you want to tell people about it. That's part of, that's one of the steps. So submit a story, um, there's press release templates, which I actually added more details to the template before it was kind of like, write a sentence here, write the important stuff here, and then put the unimportant stuff at the bottom. Now there's a lot more detail um, in the actual um, template. I'll see if it'll open here. This is pretty slow. Hey, Cindy, sorry to interrupt. I oh, apologize. Sure. I uh, that's one file I did not update today, uh, so to it'll be updated you. tomorrow. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. No, no, no problem. Um, so that will be up there. There's there's details in the body. So basically, for the most part, um, you don't have to be a writer to do this press release, which which will really help you guys, I think. So you're basically going to be just plugging in the specific details about your unit and what they did very easily because of the um, prompts that, that I gave you within that template. I hope that makes sense. When you see it, you'll definitely know what I mean. So basically, I, I, I just feel like, you know, we're here to give you guys these tools and these resources. And I'm definitely here. I, was, I still am a volunteer like you guys as well. Um, so I, I have been in the trenches and I, I continue to be in the trenches as well. So I, I hear what everyone's saying and I definitely can relate. So I definitely think specific tools that really can help you guys make your jobs easier um, is key. So definitely, again, let me know if I'm missing anything. Oh, and the video library, because if you're missing the lunchtime lives, you can catch up on all the action <laughs> in our video library. Um, they're every Thursday at 1230. They air live on, um, oh, this is about the webinar here too. Um, the lunchtime lives air live on the Daniel Webster Council um, Facebook page. And you can watch them later on the Facebook page video library. It's really easy. You can just go and click on videos and you'll see a whole slew of them. You'll be so sick of my face if you aren't already. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> All right. So that is the very down and dirty tour of the membership and marketing hub. Are there any questions about about that? And I can't see everybody, so you can just unmute. Um, hey, Cindy. Yeah. This is Anthony Ordway. I'm a PAC 73's Cub Master over in Hillsboro and super new to uh, the scouting thing for the last couple of years. I've been doing it and ended up running the whole show over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm interested in the um, becoming a range master awesome. and having that. <clears throat> and uh, any other resources obviously that you guys are covering but more importantly that's what i wanted to to ask was how do i get that because i tried the link and it took me to some sideways stuff on google oh sorry about that um so there is an email for mark who is on the shooting sports committee volunteer and he is i believe it's shooting sports at nhscaling.org is that right tyler i think i memorized that yeah correctly. copying and paste maybe i did something wrong Oh, okay. Um, I will um, send that back out. I have a I have a list of all our attendees tonight, so I'll make sure that's one of the things on the list to get to you guys. Um, so he's doing a training. I think he said a training is coming up soon in July. And I do encourage you guys, especially if you really enjoy shooting sports and if you really are going to be using the mobile unit and the archery unit for various things, it would be awesome if someone within your units can become range master trained. Um, it's just another benefit to have that volunteer within your unit. And um, it just kind of helps everybody out because if you want to have a fun day out shooting with the mobile unit and you can help out another um, unit who's volunteering that day, then we would love to send you over. So it's really a win-win the more people we can get involved with that. So I appreciate that, Anthony, that you're interested. Yeah. Um, I'll make sure I get that. I'm going to write that note. Thank you. Sports email. And when you do reserve the um, mobile unit or the archery unit, it does pop up that email 
Um, I'll double check to see if that if that works correctly for you guys. Um, but that email is there in case there's interest in getting trained. I see there's some stuff in the, oh, the title, Tyler put um, a link in the chat. Oh, and the, okay, great. I was just making sure we had no other questions. Um, anyone else have questions so far? All right, everyone's very quiet. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Let's just come in here. All right. So I do have another question. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, the flyer request form, what is that? Because is that, are you guys going to give us like the trifold brochures or you give us new welcome packets? Because I was about to go out on my own and, and get those for our pack for recruiting efforts in Hillsboro. But if that's something you guys offer, I mean, I, I would prefer that. So we usually print out uh, recruitment flyers or flyers for your unit. So um, usually the big push is, is in the fall to get the flyers out to all the students. And I know with COVID, that was a struggle uh, this past year because a lot of us couldn't get into the schools. We're hoping that we can get back in the schools again this September. So that flyer request is to put your unit's details on there um especially for your joint scouting night if you uh which hopefully everyone plans on having at least one in the fall and uh we'll print the flyers for you and um for those of you that can pick up a council office that's a huge um help to us because we don't have um a lot of extra people that can drive around the state of new hampshire right now um but we can also arrange to meet up if that's more convenient as well um, so we can print flyers that can be distributed at the schools or um, at your recruitment events. That's that's what, what our plan is so far. We do have templates for brochures um, on the BSA Brand Center. There, there's templates as well. Um, and you can print, thing, print things obviously through your own unit if you, if you have the funds to do so. At this time, we're not, doing the printing for brochures, but we can definitely do flyers and probably do some of the business cards for you guys as well, the bring a buddy business cards. Those are those are always fun for the kids to hand out. Hey, Anthony, this is um, Tyler Yankee. I'm the field director for the council. I know some of you and some I haven't, so uh, nice to meet you via Zoom and uh, welcome aboard. Uh, we'll print um, just about anything as long as it's in black and white. We don't have uh, color printing capabilities. So if you had a black and white trifold brochure, we could help support that. Uh, we could also provide you um, kind of like branded templates that you could just plug in your pack information in a trifold brochure to get printed off at Staples. But um, any type of marketing materials, eight and a half by 11 brochures, uh, flyers that Cindy was talking about, um, applications to support. Uh, we have envelopes, kind of new uh, family welcome packet envelopes that you could stuff uh, items in uh, to give like a family a full packet so they don't have to have multiple pieces of paper. Uh, we can support that applications. Uh, and then Cindy and I can also work with any unit that's looking to get any custom printing done at like Staples and help you with reviewing anything or help you design it, um, all those pieces as well. Uh, just the council doesn't have the capabilities for uh, color printing at this time. Yeah, that's, that's what I was asking because we have an event coming up uh, in Hillsboro for the festival and we're going to have a booth there and I wanted to have some just some standard stuff and I was looking online and I pulled off the templates and I was about to go and purchase them all today but since we had the meeting I was just going to hold off and see what you guys had to offer so um, it's helpful to have that you know and, and if you can put it all in one spot I'll definitely, I can, I can connect with you all after <clears throat> via email. It's a short yeah, draft for me from Manchester. Yeah, and we can coordinate with, you know, meeting up halfway for anybody or make arrangements. You know, we have staff that live um, throughout. It just takes us a couple more days because we don't work in a centralized office anymore. Um, but the flyers, as Cindy was indicating, like on the BSA Brand Center, when you go to Cub Scout Flyers and you see kind of all the action images and the little white space at the bottom. We actually have those in print. Um, and what we wanna do is use that flyer request form to capitalize the real estate on the backside, the blank side. 
so we can share more information with families about scouts other than that, you know, two inch block there. So what you see on the brain center, we do have some um, specific, our Cub Scout Flyers represents um, kind of full family of scouting. Uh, we have Scouts BSA Flyers that are targeted for uh, both male and boy and girl uh, units. And then uh, we uh, have yard signs, all that stuff. So um, happy to help support kind of anything that you need uh, and facilitate getting you the resources you need, even if, um, you know, you wanted something a little bit more custom. We could do. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Anthony, for that question. That's that's a good one. Um, we always want to support you guys, um, obviously, in any way, especially with recruiting. These are um, a rough draft of a template that that will appear on um, the back of the flyers, hopefully. And it just explains briefly what Cub Scouts and Scouts BSA is and what we offer. And then your specific information would go in the middle on the back there as well um, with an upcoming event or, or joint scouting night. And then we're also um, you know, letting families know about Granite Base Camp because that's also a great option. On the tiny print, it says this is not a school sponsored event, you know, the disclaimer that we, that we have to put in. <laughs> so I'm assuming we have to put in stuff. So. Um, so that would be on the back. And I was going to show you guys. Um, see here. I have a lot of open tabs. That's how I was just saying, that's how I work. I'm a crazy person. I'm sure you guys also have a lot of open tabs. I was going to show you the actual BSA Brand Center, but if you look at the BSA Brand Center, as Tyler was saying, there are um, a ton of resources, including um, already produced, you know, professionally produced videos of testimonials and kids and adults talking about the scouting program. And those are all great tools that you can use to share on social media and beyond. Um, you know, a lot of you have social media pages, and if you don't have a public page to market your uh, unit, definitely do so. Um, it's free advertising. It's, it's a free way to get the word out about scouting and what you guys are doing. And it's, it's a great tool, um, again, to, to get, you know, in addition to flyers and all the other marketing materials that, that you may use at any time. So there's, you know, the videos, there's great stock photos, um, and obviously the flyers that you, that you can look at too with, with the images that will go on the front. Does anyone else have any more questions about any of the tools in regards to flyers and brochures? You guys still are a pretty quiet bunch. <laughs> Nothing? So as um, I was saying earlier, we really want to approach really scouting, I was gonna say membership in general, but um, you know, scouting as a team effort for sure. Um, and I think really the strength is always in the numbers, right? So if you guys, you know, are struggling with a certain event or if you're a smaller unit that really just doesn't have an, the right amount of volunteers to even maybe run some, you know, PAC meetings or, or troop meetings, Maybe it's a good idea to get together with another nearby troop or pack and kind of idea share, right? And work together to uh, bring, you know, to get that program strong again. There's no, nobody will be hurt in that process. I think a lot of us have this friendly sense of competition where, well, you know, I'm going to recruit this scout or this family. I see you, Daniel, I'll get right to you. And, um, you know, but it's, you know, we can keep that friendly competition. I think that's healthy. But at the same time, let's keep an eye out for each other as well and really team up to um, really build our programs back up after the little bit of the dip that we had during COVID times. I know that was a challenge for everybody. Daniel, did you have a question? Yeah, hi. Um, so I was at the last district 
executive meeting. I don't know what meeting it was. Could have been round table. Um, and they made a big to do about spending a lot of money this year for advertising and recruiting. So do you have specifics in exactly what they plan to do? Radio spots, Facebook, what, what's your cots, that kind of stuff. I'm going to hand it off to Tyler. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, Daniel, good question. So um, for the benefit of the entire group, the executive board took a look uh, leading into the spring of 2021 on some pretty large um, investments back into the program. A lot of that you'll experience this summer when you go to summer camp with uh, every property has new tents. Uh, and that also included a lot of the membership incentives that uh, we've been promoting, the um, recruit a friend, uh, $25 joining fee waiver, recruit five kids, get X number of dollars uh, directly back to the unit. And then the other arm of that in support of membership is um, an investment in uh, kind of brand awareness and uh, sharing the story of what scouting is all about uh, to families in New Hampshire. Uh, we're meeting um, to go over additional stages of that um, next Thursday, but things to um, experience would be um, you know, continuing to push uh, media. Uh, you've seen a lot of stuff on WMUR uh, in, in the newspapers, union leader, as well as the local community pieces. Um, and uh, Google AdWord campaign. So when you uh, go to search, you know, scouting uh, in Candia, New Hampshire, for example, then it allows us to really uh, penetrate the Google search results to make sure that um, you know, we're at the top of the list. And then we'll expand on that a little bit more. You know, things that we uh, have continued to do are direct mail. Uh, we take targeted communities with the largest opportunity uh, of growth and uh, number of kids population-wise and do uh, targeted uh, direct mail uh, pieces. Uh, we work with Spectrum Marketing with their uh, monthly newsletter that comes out for advertisement spots uh, and some pretty other um, creative stuff, uh, billboard advertising and, and a variety of other mechanisms. So I uh, can't give you a definitive um, what each individual piece of that brand campaign is going to be, uh, but I can share with you that it's going to be uh, pretty extensive. In short, it's going to cover all aspects of marketing and promotions for the brand. Great, I appreciate the, the comments. Um, I'm wondering when it comes to direct mail, how involved the individual units may be, you know, names and phone numbers of, of leaders possibly to make it a little more personal. Is that something you can think of doing maybe? Yeah, so uh, we did that targeted campaign uh, first in 2019, I believe it was. Yes, COVID was 2020, right? And this is 2021. So mm -hmm. 2019, we did a direct mail uh, campaign. Sorry, all the days blend together. But um, we did a direct mail campaign directly to what you're talking about, Daniel, where we um, took your joint scouting night information uh, and then um, created customized postcards based on the geographical radius to where your joint scouting night was. Uh, and then that information was targeted uh, to those families within kind of that community of all the areas that they're available to join or unit leaders to contact, uh, or even specifically, you know, just the basic QR code uh, that you can populate and be a scout.org uh, added on to the postcard as well. So um, variety of pieces uh, that we're still uh, toying with, um, including direct mail. Uh, so um, it's definitely feedback that we'll continue to look at as we meet again next Thursday. Tyler, I got a question Great, for you. What kind of uh, social media type of uh, advertisements do you guys do, if any, for like local packs or is it under Daniel Webster specific? Or can you do yeah. something to promote <clears throat> something that a local pack is doing that's going to be a big event, could potentially be a, a good recruiting event as well? Yeah, in the years past, we have um, 
supported all of our recruitment events with um, paid geofencing. Uh, and if you're familiar with that in Facebook, basically we generate um, an event in Facebook that uh, populates all the details about your joint scouting night. Uh, and then we geofence it uh, for areas specific, you know, for example, the elementary school that may be down the street or your chartered organization or the Chick-fil-A in Nashua, if you live in Nashua, right? All those places that whenever you're sitting in line or on your phone that pops up that says this may be something of interest to you. Um, so we've done that. Uh, that geofencing program was paid for by uh, the national organization. Um, and we don't anticipate that will continue again this fall uh, just because of the circumstances that we're in. Um, but you know, those types of large impact events are conversations that we're having as part of our um, overarching marketing communications plan with the investments that we're looking at. Uh, but also we can, you know, support units in best practices of writing, you know, copy for what the post says and, you know, supporting how you can even take $10 of your, you know, packed treasury and, and boost a, you know, promotion piece on Facebook to, to have a larger okay. impact than maybe your, your flyers will be. So in short, we did it in the past. Um, it's part of, you know, this extensive investment that we're taking a look at. And we're really just trying to see what's going to have the largest impact for the money. Um, but on the other side, if your pack has $25 to spare, I'd be more than happy to, you know, work with you and, and show you, you know, best practices on geofencing at your pack level too. Okay. Yeah. So it's really on the pack and then it's going to be a Facebook social media post. And then you'll just show us how to structure and what kind of audience to target and like filters to put in and all that stuff. Right. To kind of manage the most yeah, efficient and I can post help, possible. Yeah. And I can help you do that um, individually. And then Cindy can certainly help us with copywriting. Uh, Cindy has a copywriting background. So um, she can help us with that too. Um, you know, there's okay. a couple other, other great pieces, you know, we do some advertising um, with website ads as well as um, social media ads. You may have seen them. They seem a little bit generic, but they talk about, uh, you know, now's the time to join scouting, right? That may be a tagline. Um, that's part of a, a full ad campaign that we work with. Um, it's Spectral Marketing that's headquartered here in Manchester, New Hampshire, a large uh, print and digital uh, firm. And uh, we actually do coordinated ad campaigns around that. So you'll start to see, you know, earlier this spring, we did some around camp. And now you're going to start seeing them around, you know, what is, you know, the new scouting, right? As we come through the summer, what is scouting going to be? Um, so I think that's where you're going to see a lot of the, that branding and the investment of the marketing dollars um, come out of. Uh, this summer and the tumultuous times of scouting today and making sure that we're investing in and in spreading the message far and wide that um, scouting is the place to be this fall. Awesome. Thank you. Any other questions in regards to our uh, media effort there? Thanks, Tyler. That was good information. <laughs> I knew you had all the details. Um, someone asked, uh, are transferring AOLs to troops, will that count towards membership incentives or only new scouts? Uh, the incentive is only for new scouts joining or if someone had dropped, I think it's, if they were dropped for in over a year, Tyler, I think that's right. So if you had a scout that dropped and wasn't registered for like a year and then returned, that actually counts towards the incentive. I know the AOL is transferring. That would be that would be nice. <laughs> Don't turn them down though. <laughs> so um, the incentives are on the website as we as I talked about, and it's great news that it's extended through um, uh, through December thirty first. That's very exciting. Oh, my thing just went crazy. All right, and, um, and the recruiter friend. So that is on the membership and marketing hub. And then um, some reminders to just start thinking about um, 
start thinking about unit flyers as we talked a lot about tonight or, or any of the print that you might need. As Tyler said, we're willing to help with whatever you need to promote your unit and your efforts. Um, please put all requests to the membership and marketing hub. And if you're not sure um, where the request fits or if you have more questions, then obviously definitely email me. And then um, if you haven't already, Try to plan your program calendar this summer at your committee meeting. I'm assuming a lot of you probably had a committee meeting in June. And try to really plan out the main events throughout the year, including your recruitment night. So you can really plan ahead. Planning ahead is important. That's what makes units strong. And as we talked about a little tiny bit, don't be afraid to team up with other units. I think we forget about that. We're all in this together. The strength is in numbers. You know, call units around you, see what they're doing, maybe team up together to march in a parade together or to uh, do flag placement for Veterans Memorial Day or team up together and get the mobile unit and do a big recruiting event with surrounding units. Maybe the night that they meet is more convenient than the night that you meet for some families. And that's OK. Let's get the families into scouting and everything else will fall into place. And again, I sound like a broken record, but don't forget to book that mobile base unit or the archery range as early as you can because weekends are booking up. And our next meeting is July 22nd. Oh, and Tyler put in the comments uh, in the chat that the press release that we were talking about, the new template can be downloaded from um, the link that Tyler put in the chat. Anyone else have any questions at all? I have a question for the group. Um, these monthly membership workshops are new for us. Um, is this something that you guys will find beneficial on having kind of fireside chats? Um, we'll publish each monthly topic in advance, um, but it's a good opportunity for everybody just to connect with one another and, and share ideas, but um, we just wanna make sure that we're giving you the resources that you need. And then if you have questions about topics or things that you would like to know a little bit more about, if you just email uh, membership at nhscouting.org, Cindy can add that um, onto her agenda. But um, you know, it's important that we make sure that we get you the resources that you need. We're very appreciative of you guys taking the time to join us. Yeah, as Tyler said, each month will be a different topic. I'm still playing out next month. But I do, I would like them, you know, I wanted to kind of give you guys an overview tonight, of course, and then each month will be like a specific focus. So if you have ideas or something that definitely has come to mind that you'd like a little bit more information on or um, would like ideas, then definitely email us. We would love to hear what your ideas or comments are. That is all I officially had for the evening. So if you guys have questions or want to, or want to elaborate on a specific topic, feel free to unmute. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you for answering my questions, guys. I appreciate it as, uh, you know, I haven't met anyone on, on the call other than Chris here. Um, looking forward to at least having Hillsboro pack 73 charging forward. And we got a lot of, a lot of exciting things going on here. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to learn more with you guys. So thanks for having us. Anthony, I really appreciate you joining us too. And, and whatever questions you have, definitely let me know. We'll, we'll help, we'll help guide you the best we can. I'll shoot you some emails. Don't worry. They're downrange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any, the, anyone, uh, anyone in the area can come visit us too. It'll be great to have more than more, more than more than merrier. Yeah, the event actually that we're doing is going to be uh, covered by 105.5 JYY out of Manchester at Hillsborough Festival, and uh, we're, we're running an obstacle course for the Army and the Air Force. So I'm a former Marine, too, and uh, all the scouts are going down. We're volunteering at the event. We're hosting the we're going to host and run the obstacle course. So if you guys make it and come down to the festival, we'll, uh, we'll be there. 
Well, if you want to volunteer for the festival too, and you say that you're supporting you scouting, yeah, then uh, then Pack Seventy Three gets money in their kitty for mm-hmm. stuff. So, not just to push that a little bit. <laughs> that sounds like it's, a really fun event. Come on village. down, July eighth. Yeah. It'll be good for four days. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Awesome. Too, yeah. All right. Festival, well, thanks for having festival us. fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah, I just want to make uh, make one note before we, we sign off. Um, feel free to go if you want. The National Office is continuing their summer webinar series. I don't know if anybody has participated in those in the past, but once a month, they also have very specific topics around, you know, how to use the online uh, application process or making sure that you're updating your uh, Be a Scout lead. So that summer series is continuing. Um, stay tuned to your uh, email as leaders, you receive those messages from the national office. So uh, stay tuned for that. And then uh, Anthony and Chris, if you could just send us a little summary about uh, the activity that you're doing, uh, send it directly over to Cindy and Cindy can uh, coordinate with our uh, PR team. Um, we have a PR firm that we do use um, to coordinate that. So, you know, hopefully we can raise a little bit more awareness about you know, the pack and the activities that you guys got going on at that activity, at the, uh, at the event. And, and I think Cindy saw the snapshot that, that Tony put out on our pack Facebook page as well. Um, but I'm sure Tony will send something over too. I think he's got something in the works already. Awesome. For what now? I'm sorry, I missed that one. A little press, a little press release, a little press snip, the snippet. Um, oh yeah. Doing. Yep. Yeah. We we'll probably yeah, take I can, I can connect with you guys after and fill you in and, uh, it's shaping up to be a really cool event. That's awesome. Very exciting. He's he's put, put a lot of detail on the Facebook page, so you could probably take that and send it to them. That'll probably get them started. Awesome. Anyone else have some uh, have an event coming up they're excited about? That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, Cindy, if I could just jump in real quick um, and address some of the shooting sports questions that came up regarding oh, training. Sure. Um, so if anyone's going up to GSR this summer, speak to the shooting sports director. They can probably get you the range master training. I think that just takes a few hours. Um, and if you're able to get up there, you may want to reach out ahead of time. If your unit's not going there, you may be able to go up and get that taken care of. The, the RSO training is like a full day course, and those have to be scheduled in advance. Um, and the shooting sports committee is actively looking for more members. So if that's something anyone's interested in, um, reach out to Mark LePage because as you saw, the, those mobile trailers are really popular and we need trained people to staff them. So um, if that's something you have an interest in, reach out to Mark LePage and uh, he's working on setting up more training. So we'd love to have more people help out. Thanks, Josh. I, I, I shot him an email. Oh, great. Perfect. And I even told my husband, I'm like, you should get trains. So then he can go out with the trailer. I drag him into everything. <laughs> but for me, it sounds like, I mean, it is fun. I, I wanted to go to the last event the trailer was at, but I had a family commitment instead. But it's, it's a lot of fun to see the families enjoying the unit and interacting with them. I love doing stuff like that. So for me, it's, it's all fun. With the bonus that I get paid now. <laughs> Anyone else want to share anything that's coming up or any other questions? I really appreciate you guys joining me tonight. I know it's summer and it's beautiful out. And um, I really appreciate seeing all your faces and the support that you are giving to scouting and, and in New Hampshire and welcoming wanting to welcome more families in and doing the best that we can. And you guys are all doing awesome work. And we appreciate you. We appreciate all you do. I hope you guys know that. I know it's a lot of work. <laughs> Only an hour a week, right? Is that the phrase? <laughs> an hour a week per kid and per adult, I think it's it really is supposed to be, right? <laughs> Well, um, I will let you guys go if, if, if everyone's all set, if no one has any questions. Um, and if you do, then please email me. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next month. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cindy. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Keep up the great work. Thank Thanks. you. Mm-hmm.